The Opera commis Commission function collects and consolidates details about commissionable guest stays and commissionable transactions from every reservation. When commission payments are processed, guest stay details are combined with travel agent and source profile data to identify the agents and the source that are eligible for commissions and how much commission they have earned. The output of the commission payment process can either be commissionable checks or electronic funds transfer files, EFT. Payment processing by travel agent. There are two options for payment processing for commission handling, by bank account or by agent. This lesson will focus on commission processing by account. However, you will be able to utilize the same tools to process commissions by agent. Selecting by agent allows you to isolate one agent source profile for, re for review and reconciliation. Okay, payment processing by the bank account. So in Opera, which we're logged in here today, we're going to go to select commissions here at the top, or if you like to use the icons, you can select the icon commissions. Then we're going to click on payment processing, and we're going to click on buy account. The bank search screen appears. This option is used for creating commission payments for agents and sources which are paid either in a specific currency or, a, or from a specific bank account. So commissions have been calculated successfully. I'm going to click on OK. Notice I have two bank accounts at this property. We're going to focus on the EFT property commission property processing. Now, once in a while, you may get to this screen and this OK button may be grayed out. The reason the button may not be active because of there are not currently any commissions to be processed. So if this button is grayed out, that means there are no commissions to be processed. Reservations enter the commission module the day after checkout. So once the guest checks out, the night audit has to be run, and then the next day there will be commissions in the bank account. There could also be an error with the configuration setup if the room revenue transaction code is not attached to the commission codes in configuration this will cause commission amounts not to calculate. So we're going to click OK because we're highlighted on the EFT and then it will take us into the commission processing area here tells you up in the left hand corner. The upper grid is the travel agent source grid. This shows all the agents and sources that have commissionable reservations. We've got two travel agents here, CWT Travel and Oracle Travel. As you highlight an entry in the upper grid, the lower grid shows the commission detail records related to the stays for which the highlighted agent or source is eligible to receive commissions. So I highlight CWW Travel, and down below is the guest that had that travel agent attached to their reservation. I highlight Oracle Travel, and here's the two guests that made reservations through Oracle Travel. The following information is displayed in the upper grid, the travel agent source grid. We have the hold button. The hold is for agent source level hold. So you can put it on hold. If uh, you're not sure if you want to pay this travel agent at this time, you could put it on hold. Hold all. Placing a hold at the agent or source level automatically places a hold on all outstanding commissions attached to reservations associated with that agent or source. 
To apply hold at the agent source level, highlight the agent source in the upper grid and select the hold button. This button toggles between hold and release. So if we click on hold, we choose a reason why we're putting it on hold. These hold reasons are configured in, in the Opera configuration area. We're going to hold for reservation. We could add more description down below if we wanted to. Click on OK. It puts an X beside the travel agent and also the two reservations that were attached to that travel agent. So to release the hold again, highlight the agent or source and collect uh, and select the release button. So I can click on highlight the travel agent. I'm going to click on release and notice the hold is taken off. Also note that you may also be able to click into the H column to place an X next to the agent or source you wish to place on hold. Click the reason again. Hold for research. And that puts it on hold. So I can highlight it, either click on hold or put an X beside right underneath the H. If I want to take them off hold, I could click on release or I could click on the X and it would take it off. Okay, now we're going to look at the fields going across the top here. So the first one is Travel Agent Source. This is the profile name of the travel agency. The city of the agent or source is in this column. The IATA number, which is the agent source IATA number, which is stored on the profile. We have TS. This tells us T equals a travel agent and S would equal a source profile. We have the commission code here, non-commissionable, 10% commission. And then we've got the commission, amount of the commission payment. The next button we're gonna talk about is the send zero. Select the Send Zero button to send the commission records for all zero commission reservations associated with the agent source to the commission history marked paid without including them in the check or EFTA, EFT payment file. Use this feature, for example, to avoid cutting checks for zero amounts. Okay, so you can send in the configuration, you can set up to have all reservations that have zero commission, so they would have a travel agent attached to the reservation and it would be non-commissionable so that you can have that information in your travel agent processing area. You are first prompted whether you wish to transfer all zero commission records for the associated bank account to history. So I click on send zero. It says, do you want to transfer all zero commissions to history for bank account EFT property commission processing. If you reply yes, all zero commission records for the selected bank account are sent to history marked paid. If you select no, a second prompt asks whether you wish to transfer all zero commissions for the highlighted agent or source to history. If you respond yes, all zero commissions for the selected agent or source are sent to the history marked pay. If you respond no, you're returned to the commission processing screen. So I'm going to choose no. I get a second question here. Transfer all zero commissions to history for Z CWT travel. And if I say no, it takes me back to the commission processing screen. Okay, the commission's detail grid, which is right below. The lower grid lists the commission detail records for the agent source highlighted in the upper grid. So we're highlighted on CWT. So the guests that have stayed with a travel agent attached to the reservation called CWT Travel show up down below here. 
The name of the agent's source appears above the grid. The lower grid commission details grid lists the commission detail records resulting from reservations attached to the agent or source highlighted in the upper grid. On the left here, we have H, A, and P. H is for hold. It's the reservation commission level hold. An X in this column indicates commission associated with this record are being held until further notice. For example, a disputed amount may need investigation before commission can be processed. Click the X. I have a reason. I'm going to put it on hold for research. I click on OK. The next one is A for accounts receivable. Flag to offset AR. Highlight a commission detail record and select the AR button to the right of the grid. Or click in the column A column to flag the commission payment to offset the travel agent or source accounts receivable account. An X displays in the A column of the Commission Details grid next to, next to the highlighted guest's name. Click this column again to remove the X and release the Commission record for normal processing. When Commissions are processed, Commission records marked with an X in the column A, A column, are removed from the Commission Details grid without creating a check or an EFT payment record. A notation is added to the check register for the attached bank account such that when the batch details are viewed, for the travel agent or source, the guest details screen shows an X in the A column next to the guest's names. Okay. The next column is the prepaid column or prepaid commission column. An X in this column represents a whole or partial prepaid commission. For example, if a guest had paid the travel agent for the stay, the travel agency provides the property with a voucher for the full amount, less than the agreed upon commission amount. The property will post the full amount to the guest folio and then make a prepaid commission posting to indicate the commission has been deducted. This prevents the property from pay paying a commission twice. Okay. okay, next to the H, the A, and the P is the name field, the guest name on the reservation that generated the commission. The next column is the reservation arrival date, the reservation departure date, the status, checked out, no show, or canceled, and then we have the commission code that was used to determine the commission amount. A commission detailed record is highlighted in yellow and placed on hold if multiple commission codes apply during the guest's stay. This might be the case, for example, if more than one rate code applies to the reservation over the course of the stay. Commission revenue is the commissionable revenue in local currency. So for this hotel, it's in USD dollars. And then we have the column for commission. This is the commission amount owed to the travel agent or source for this stay. In the bottom portion of the screen is a summary of the commission payment information totaled for all agent sources shown in the upper grid. This is called the funds area. So we have potential to pay 1C8830. Right now I don't have any on hold, so to be paid would be 17830. If I had one on hold, So I've got the Jonathan Homer reservation on hold of 
So that's on hold. So our potential is $178.30, $97 on hold. So to be paid in this batch would be $81.30. Once I take it off hold, then to be paid is $178.30. So the be paid uh, area here is the difference between the potential amount minus the on hold amount minus the AR amount. This is the value of the commissions to be processed when the pay button is selected. Okay, so now let's go over the options menu on the screen. So I'm going to click on the options button. We have four choices here. Reservation. When you click on the reservation button, this displays the reservation associated with the highlighted commission detail record. So I'm highlighted on Jonathan Homer. I click on reservation and it takes me to Jonathan Homer's reservation. And since it's checked out, notice everything is grayed out so you can't make any changes to it. Close and it takes us back here. We go to back to options. Folio detail. The folio detail screen shows all the transactions related to the guest stay represented by the highlighted commission detail record. Commissionable items are marked with an X in the C column. The folio total, prepaid commission, and commissionable total are displayed at the bottom of the screen. Okay. So the room charge and the room charge are commissionable. So we have a total commissionable of 970 with our commission of $97. And here is the total for the folio. Folio history. Folio history displays the folio history for the highlighted commission detailed record. So this is the guest bill. We could print out for the guest or preview it. And the last button is detach. Detach a commission detailed record from an agent source. To detach a commission record, highlight your choice on the commission processing screen and select the detach button from the options menu. Depending on the commission parameters for your property, you may be prompted to enter a reason for detaching the commission detailed record from the agent source. The detached commission record is removed from the commission processing screen's commission detail records list for the agent or source from which it was delete detached. When the detached commission detail record is edited, the name of the agent source from which the commission was detached and the detached reason, if applicable, is shown in the lower note area. The reason is also shown in the notes area on the reservation screen, search screen, when the associated reservation is highlighted. So if we decide we're not going to pay the commission for Jonathan Homer, we can detach it from the commission processing area. I'm going to detach from agent, click OK, and now it's gone. So if I click on edit on the uh, detail here, it shows the notes down below, it shows the information about the reservation, how much commission, there we go. Okay, notice that I have detached the CW Travel Agency from the commission processing area and the reservations that were attached to it. Now I'm going to show you how if you forgot to attach a travel agent profile to a reservation when you made the reservation or at check-in, and now the travel agent is requesting commission from it, so I'm going to show you how to add the travel agent to the commission processing area if it's not already there. So, attaching travel agents. When you're handling commission payment by account, 
you will, by default, be working with all the travel agents attached to the selected bank account that have commissions outstanding. You may, however, wish to add other agents to the account, either agents that are attached to the account and that currently have no commissionable revenues due them, or agents that are not attached to any bank account. So to add an agent, we're going to highlight any record in the top grid, and we're going to select the New button to display the agent search screen. So we've highlighted the top. I'm going to click on the New button. It takes me to the Travel Agent Search screen here. So once we uh, search for the travel agent, so the travel agent we're going to search for is CWT Travel. I'm going to click on Search. Here is our travel agency. I'm going to click on OK. It tells you no commission records present for this travel agency. Do you want to manually add guest stay records? I'm going to say yes. Once you say yes, you will be taken immediately to the reservation search screen, which you may then use to select the stay records you wish to attach to the agents you have added. So attaching guest stay records. The reservation search option allows you to find and attach stay records to selected agent or source for commission payment processing. Stay records that may be attached to the agent or source and included include records added manually via the guest profile search history option as well as stay records generated automatically by Opera. Okay, so we've attached the CWT travel agency here. Now I need to search for the reservations that we need to pay. So a travel agent may call in and say, I've never been paid for the res reservation for Carol Hartman. And I've never been paid for the reservation for Jonathan Homer. So we can search for the reservations. Put in the last name. Here's Carol Hartman's. Notice down below, Carol Hartman was detached from CWT Travel. But now we're going to add it back. I'm going to put an X besides Carol's name. I'm going to click on OK. It says, do you want to attach these selected reservations to CWT Travel? I'm going to say yes. It calculates the commission, and then you click OK. So now we've attached Carol Hartman back to CWT Travel. If we want to do that one more time, I'm going to click New. Find the travel agency, CWT Travel. I'm going to click on OK. Now this time we're going to look for Jonathan Homer, or Joseph Homer. There is Joseph Homer's reservation. See, we've detached it a couple times. It keeps track of every time you do that. I'm going to put an X beside Jonathan Homer's name. I'm going to click on OK. We get the same prompt. Yes. And commission has been calculated. So now we've added them back to the commission processing area. All right. If no commission payments are associated with the selected reservations, the ones that I just did, you will receive a message indicating which of your se selections will not be included per, for payment. So if a reservation has a rate that is non-commissionable, Opera will not move it to the commission processing area if the rate on the reservation is a non-commissionable rate. So let's look at edit, editing the commission details. So I'm going to highlight on Carol Hartman's reservation, and we're going to talk about editing commission details. So I highlight, and I'm going to click on edit, and it takes us to this screen here. To adjust a commission payment or prepaid commission for a commission detail record, we highlight the commission, which we already did, in the lower grid of the commission processing screen and select the edit button, the commission detail screens appears. 
To display the commission detail screen, highlight a commission detail record on the commission processing screen and select the edit button. So if we wanted to edit the commission here, we could change the commission here. Remember it's 2480, so if we wanted to pay them only 2380, we could change it here. And it will recalculate. And if you notice that it's 2380 now, I click save. And it tells me down at the bottom that I changed the commission. It's been adjusted from 2480 to 2380. If I want to go back and change it, type in 2480. It recalculates and I save and then it tracks it down here at the bottom. Let's say that they shouldn't have been paid 10% commission, that they should have been paid 15% commission. We can change the commission here and click Save and then it shows when it was changed, to what time it was changed, so that information is tracked. So now we're paying 15% 15 com 15 commission for this particular reservation. Click on OK, takes us back, and now their commission is 3720 instead of 2480. Okay, so let's talk about generating a commission payment. So commission payments may be made in the form of checks or as an EFT file transfer. EFT is available if an EFT add-on license is active and configured for the property. The payment method is linked to the bank during bank account setup and configuration. Which option applies to your payment depends on the bank associated with the travel agent or source for which you are processing the payment. The amount in the to be paid column in the lower section of the commission processing screen is the total amount of the commission to be paid to the agent or source listed in the upper grid of the screen. The amount to be paid excludes any commissions associated with an agent source which is on hold, indicated by an X in the hold column in the upper grid, to be paid also exclude individual commission details in the lower grid that are marked with an X in the hold or AR columns, as well as prepaid amounts for those commission details marked in the prepaid column. Note, the actual total amount of the commission payment can be different from the to be, to be paid amount if you choose to limit the range of departure dates for which you process commission payments. So maybe I'm only going to pay for departure dates on 6-1. And all these reservations, departure date is on 6-2. Some properties may do it for one month at a time, and you may have more, more uh, travel agent commissions in this area than for that one month. So to begin the EFT payment processing, we're going to select the pay button. So I've selected the pay button. The date range screen prompts you to specify a from departure date and a to departure date that defines the group of reservations to be paid in the commission process. All eligible commission detail records with departure dates falling in that date range will be processed for payment. If no date range is entered, then all eligible commissions are processed, regardless of the date. You might use this feature, for example, to batch commission payments for all stays having a departure date in the month of May or in the month of June. So when you select the OK button, you are prompted to confirm that you wish to process the commission's payments. I'm going to click on OK. It says, are you sure you want to pay the selected accounts? 
So you're going to select yes to proceed. Messages may appear at this point depending on the configuration options of the property. All agent source profiles to be included in the commission export must have an address, communication method, and IATA number. If all or part of this information is missing from the profile, you will be prompted that these records will not be concluded, included in the batch. You will have the option to go back and make corrections to continue without those agent sources being included. Those commission records will be placed on hold until you resolve the issue with the profile and attempt to process the records once again. So, if we notice up here on CWT, we don't have an address. So, when we do an EFT commission processing, it creates a text file. And this text file gets sent to a third-party vendor that goes and pays your travel agent commissions for you. And for them to be able to send out a check or, you know, a, a um, wire, um, they would have to have the name, the address, and the IATA number of that travel agent. And it pulls that information from the profile in Opera. So as it said before, if we say yes, We said yes, and then we get this pop-up here. Now it's telling us the travel agent CWT has no address, no city, no state, and no zip code. So now it says, do you want to mark the respective travel agent source as hold and continue to process, or select no to cancel the complete export? So I would like CWT to be in this export, so I'm going to click on no and close and it hasn't uh, processed my commissions yet because I want to add the information to the CWT profile. So to add that I'm going to click on profile we're highlighted on CWT travel. I'm going to put in the address So we're putting in the address here. Remember when I put in the postal code, it automatically puts in the city and state. And we're also missing the IATA number for this particular travel agent. Save. And we close. Now we have that information. So let's double check Oracle Travel. We have an address and we have an IATA number. So now we can process the commissions. So once again, we're going to click on pay. We're going to leave the date range open. So it's going to process everything. I'm going to click on OK. It says, are you sure you want to pay selected accounts? I'm going to say yes. And it tells me the prepayment report has been printed. Do you want to print it now? So it's a prepayment report that shows what's being paid. I'm going to say no. And now it has created a text file. So the text file has been created. Press yes to print the transmittal letter. I'm going to click on yes here. Notice our commission processing area is empty here. So all those commissions have been processed. So now the commissions have been created and a text file has been created. And if so, it takes us back to the main screen. So if we go back to commission, we go back to payment processing and go by account, you notice now. We cannot get in commission area because there's no commissions in there right now. If we go to the check one, there's nothing there also. So it does not allow us into the commission area when there is no commissions to be paid. So now, so it created a text file, and now you have to find that text file or get that text file so you can email it 
to your third party vendor. So one place, so you need to know what the name of the file is. Okay, so I'm going to show you what the name of that file is first. Okay, so we're going to go back to commission. And now we're going to go to payment activity. And remember we did EFT was the bank. So we highlight it, click on OK. So here is our file. This is the file name. Remember we paid $190.70. So this is under the payment activity area here. Okay, so now what we need to do is download the file then. So we know the name now, so it ends in a dcr.dcr, .dcr. okay? So now from the main opera screen, we're gonna select miscellaneous, and we're, then we're gonna go to file download. In the file name field, type in the name of the commission export file. If you don't remember, well, here it is here. Um, it's already there. If you don't remember, if, if the screen came up blank, then you could type at the top here. You could do percent and type in .dcr because we know that's what it ends in. And it would bring up all the files that ended in .dcr. So here is our file. So now we wanna just highlight it and we're gonna select on download. Select save and navigate to the location on the workstation where you would like to save the file. I'm gonna click on save. Let's say I wanna save it to my desktop. And I'm gonna click save. So it saved the file to my desktop. And if you notice on my desktop here, we have the file. And now if we open it, we'll want to open that with Notepad. And to open that, you're just going to right click on it and click Open. And when you open it, the file is going to look like this. So this is your file here. Notice it says the name of our hotel. Here's the travel agent, Oracle Travel. Oracle Travel. And then we had CW Travel. And they take this particular file and you send it to your third party vendor. And then they can download it in their system. And then they will pay your travel agent commissions for you. But this is what the file looks like. The guest names here Jonathan Homer, Dale Hartman. And there you go. Okay, so I'm going to close out of the commission file and we'll close out of file download. And now we're going to talk about the commission payment activity area. The commission payment activity features allows you to track commission payments. You may also use payment activity feature to reconcile commission payments with bake statements and when necessary to reprint commission checks. So if we highlight EFT and I click on OK, so the payment activity screen presents slightly different information depending on the whether the bank account you select uses the check payment method or the EFT payment method. When you select the bank account for which the payment method is check, the payment activity screen includes a list of the commission payment checks that have been processed. In order to assist the property in tracking commission payment checks, you may change check statuses on the payment activity screen. The payment activity report can then be prepared to show checks in any or all status categories for any date range along their amounts. The following options are available on the payment activity screen for checks. Outstanding. So we have the outstanding checkbox. This is the initial status when checks are issued in commission payment processing. Checks that have not yet been cashed and the time limit to cash the check has not expired. 
Checks having the reconciled statement may be returned to the outstanding status by selecting the outstanding button. Okay. Reconciled. Once a check has been cashed, select the reconciled button to assign the reconciled status to the checks that have the outstanding status. When you select a reconciled check, the outstanding button becomes available. Select this button to return the check to the outstanding button, to the outstanding status. The next button is unpresented. Select this button to flag checks that have not been cashed within the period allowed. The unpresented button is only available if the check is currently in the outstanding status. The void button. Select this button to make a check invalid. When you make a check void, all transactions included in the check are again made available for the commission's processing. Okay. The details. Highlight a payment. We'll click on details. And select the details button to review the commission details for which the commission payment was issued by displaying the batch details screen. From the details screen, you may also drill down to the guest details screen. Options from the guest details screen give you access to folio details, folio history, reservations, and commission details. So if we highlight on Oracle Travel, I click on details. It gives the details of each reservation that was attached. I can then collect or click on options. I can go to folio detail, folio history, and reservation. And if I click on edit, it takes me to this screen here, the commission screen. And then the last one is the reports button. Select the Reports button to print any of the reports in the Commission Report Group. So these are the uh, reports that are sitting in the report or the Commission Report Group. The Commission's prepayment report, any commissions that have been paid, payment activity, you've got your transferred commissions, the Travel Agent Master Listing, and the Travel Agent Summary Report. You can highlight those. Click on OK, and then you can print them. OK, we're going to close out of the payment activity area. So we're going to click Close here. We're going to co close out of the bank. We're going to go back to Commissions, and we're going to go to Research. When you select Commissions and then Research, the Commission's Reservation search screen allows you to find reservations associated with Commission payments. You may, may then view the associated reservation screen, guest profile, and Commission details. The View Only Notes area in the lower part of the screen shows any Commission details notes associated with the highlighted reservation. So if we put in the reservation last name Homer, click on Search, Notice that this has been paid, meaning that we have ran the travel agent processing uh, so that the text file has been uh, created. Uh, so it puts a Y on the reservation. Then down at the bottom, you can see all the notes that when we detached it earlier. If we want to go to the reservation, we click on the res screen. So to view complete reservation information, you can highlight your choice and select the Res button. The reservation screen appears. If the reservation status is reserved or checked in, you may not make changes to the reservation. The other button is the Profile. To view the profile associated with the reservation, we can highlight the, uh, the uh, profile and select the Profile button. Then select the Agent, Source, or Company button to view the profile. So this is the Travel Agent profile. Okay, and the last button is the Commission button. To view Commission details for a reservation, 
you can highlight your choice and collect the commission button. So it shows the batch number, the file name, the payment date, the amount, and it's still in outstanding status. The commission details. So today, today we learned how to access the travel agency bank by going to payment processing and by account. Always remember when you highlight the bank and the OK button is grayed out, that means there is no commissions to be processed. So now, since there's no commissions to be processed, one other thing that I want to show you today is if you made a mistake when you were processing the commission, there is a way to delete that commission and move those commissions back to the commission processing area. And the way to do that is if you go to Commissions and you go back to Payment Activity, highlight your bank and click OK, we're highlighted on our batch we created. And when we click Void, it says Voiding will open all transactions included in this check for commission processing again. Do you still want to void this check? I'm going to say Yes. It disappears. Now, when we go back to Commissions, we go to Payment Processing and by Account, choose our bank, click on OK, and now my travel agents are back in the Commission Processing area to be processed again. Okay. So also during this class, we learned how to go through all the options. We learned how to put commissions on hold. We also learned how to print our reports. We also learned how to pay the commissions. And then we also learned how to do research on the commissions. And we also learned about the payment activity area. That concludes this session.